Hi everyone. In this coronavirus age, it's remarkable how rapidly things are changing, eh? Like, it was only two weeks ago I held my last church service in a church. And then with the changing conditions, with a lot of thinking and a lot of preparation, we held a church service in a tent, an open marquee, out the back. And we thought that would go on forever. This is our first service outside in a tent and I'm really excited. We've been talking about going out to the people for years and I've never quite done it because of being locked in that building. Now what coronavirus has done is forced us to move out. So this is just the beginning of a whole new way of doing spirituality. I'm not talking so much about doing church, although it will be church, but it will be spirituality where people can come with their own beliefs and own ideas and own philosophies and make that sense of bigger than themselves, which they realise, make that real in a way that's real to them. candle for decades. Two weeks ago we held our last church service in this church. A week ago we had it outside because we thought we could do them outside under the marquee. Now it's all gone. I'm standing in the church at the normal time and I'm looking around at empty pews which once held my congregation, once held a group of people who I loved and loved me. 
what can I say at this time to the world outside? This is a time really where everybody's life in a way is at stake. And so it's a time when everything comes to a, a point, the pointy end. And you begin to think about all those people you love. And you begin to think about those people who you love, who there's tension. Maybe this is a time for a phone call or a message to say, how are you? How are you going? All of this stuff doesn't really matter anymore. And then if we rebuild all of those loving relationships that are there anyway, if we rebuild them, when this is over, and it will end, when this is over, we can restore the relationship with the hugs and kisses that we need as human beings to live on this earth.